What's going on, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy, kid, back at it again. Today, we're checking out some more Rod Gilbert. This is the luggage scene. Shout out to three homies, Sabaton, uh, username pending review, and Philip. Um, three of these guys requested that we definitely check this one out. So, without further ado, let's check it out and let's see what we think the uh, luggage scene. Let's go. <laughs> It's the DVD extras! Um, I thought, I, as I said, I thought I, would, I thought I would tell you a story. The story involves uh, a trip. I've told this story many times uh, all over the world, and everywhere I've told it, I have blamed a different airline. <laughs> Out of necessity, you see, because you have to make uh, the, the material relevant, the story relevant to the audience in front of you. So every, I've told it in Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, America, I have blamed every airline under the sun. Uh, I've even blamed Crab Air. <laughs> I've even blamed the RAF. <laughs> and, but the story, the true story happened on a flight to Dublin some years ago with an airline that I can't name for legal reasons, but which, for the purposes of giving them a name, we will call Brian Air. <laughs> uh, it's uh, thinly veiled, I admit. <laughs> I'm Welsh, I was going abroad. I was going to Dublin. I, have you ever been abroad? But I was excited, I bought shorts. <laughs> T-shirts, sunglasses, they don't even sell them in Wales. I had to go to Bristol to buy them. I was excited about going abroad and then I bought myself a brand new suitcase. One of the posh ones with the wheels and the handle and then I flew to Dublin with Brian Radier. <laughs> and I will show you what I found when I arrived in Dublin airport just a few hours later. Wow. I get the last laugh. It still works. <laughs> You can see where some hilarious Brian Air baggage handlers put a heavy label on that look. <laughs> Bend your knees is the advice to anybody picking that up. <laughs> Assisted lift may be required, it says. <laughs> I'm not gonna listen, I'm not an idiot. The flight was about 9.99. <laughs> I wasn't expecting miracles, and if I'm completely honest with you, the first three times this went round the baggage carousel, I laughed. <laughs> Everybody laughed the first three times. It was the other the passengers, the crew, everybody was having a great time, and then one by one they pissed off. <laughs> it's just me and this. <laughs> I took this to the I took this to the desk. <laughs> I will sort this out, we'll soon sort this out. I didn't know what I was up against. There's a girl on the desk looks at me, no hint of irony. She says, What seems to be the problem? <laughs> I said, mainly it's about my luggage. She said, is that not it? <laughs> I said, this is some of it. Don't get me wrong, I'm thrilled to get this back. The thing is, I'm here for a month. I'm pretty sure I packed more than this. She had the nerve to ask me those questions. They ask you, I've heard these questions all over the world. They're normally perfectly sensible questions, but there was no need for it. She said, could anybody have interfered with it? <laughs> and so we probably shouldn't rule that out. She said, have you left it unattended at any point? I said, I suppose I must have, yes. I'm not the most observant person in the world, but if this had happened while I was wheeling it through Dublin Airport, I, I think even I'd have noticed. Surely it would have gone very light very quickly. So did you pack it yourself? I thought, why? What are you suggesting? You think my mum packed for me and thought this is all I'd need? <laughs> she said, we'll do a report, mister. We'll do an official Brian A. We'll soon have your luggage back. Don't you worry, we'll do an official report. I thought, good, do your report. This is progress. But get it was all going quite well until about question three or four. She, she took my name, she took my address. Uh, and then she said, does your luggage have any distinguishing features, Mr. Gilbert? <laughs> We one of them long black handles, if that's any use. And she wrote that down. Everyone's a comedian in Ireland, and they? they all think they're so bloody hilarious. Do we have any Irish people in tonight? Hey. Yeah, you all think you're hilarious. The taxi drivers, they're the worst, aren't they? Because I, I walked from, from the, what do you call it? Airport. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the taxi rank outside. I said, normal three or four taxis there. And bear in mind, when I walked out with this, I didn't have a five-minute story to tell. I just had 22 kilograms of missing shit. <laughs> I wasn't looking too happy, you know, but the taxi driver saw his eyes lit up. <laughs> so predictable. You could see what he was going to do. Practically leapt out of his cab. He stormed down to the back. You could see exactly what he was going to do. Yeah, pops open the boot a little <laughs> shit. <laughs> Let's go. Irish wit, he says, do you want a hand with that? <laughs> said, no, thank you. I think I can manage. <laughs> I said, if you really want to help, you can take the trolley back. <laughs> what a great story oh my god man if i would have been in the freaking airport seeing this man with this luggage i would have fell off my chair or to piss myself laughing this is a really really funny sketch damn just imagine that i mean we've all traveled by air most of us at least hopefully and sometimes yeah they don't take care of luggage that well i remember having a luggage and it had like these kind of like fancy strings by the time that thing rolled around the carousel all the strings were like broken it was shredded it looked like some freaking uh Fourth of July colors. It was red, white, blue. The whole thing bust open. I was like, this can't be my shit. But oh my God, it just, I've had bad experiences with luggage. I feel for the man. This is an amazing, amazing story. Uh, man, that thing had me pissing in myself. The bet, one of the best parts, definitely. And it was definitely predictable that it was going to happen, that he was going to say this. But, uh, the thing with the taxi cab and the guy coming out. Once I once I got a feeling when he was saying come out, I'm like, oh my god, don't tell me this guy is gonna ask him for help. That is priceless. But if yeah, just imagine you so seeing somebody like yo, yo, you need help with that? Oh man, because I worked in a job where you had to ask people for help, no matter how tiny a bag is. The bag could have been like this big, and you had to always ask for help. So I've been in that cab you know cabman's uh, uh shoes before where you got to offer help no matter what you never know he might he might have needed help but that is freaking hilarious that he got offered help great great sketch not a single thing bad about it um the man tells a story really well funny from start middle to end great 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 so i hope you all enjoyed it tell me the best bit in the comments down below, if you want to see more Rod, tell me some more scenes that we should definitely check out. You guys can put the link in the comments section to help me out because I believe when we were searching for this one, there was like five or six titles of it. So hopefully chose the right one. Um, but yeah, if you guys could put some of the links in for certain stuff that you want me to see, feel free to do it for me. That just makes the job a little bit more easier for myself. As always, I love you all to pieces. Thanks to the three gents who suggested this material and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace and love my dudes. Peace.